Hello and welcome to Boxhead Nation, and I'm your host, the Boxhead Gamer. Today you'll join me in reliving my childhood in the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Let's see how it goes. Much. Too much for me. So, Rocket League is so intense. Get those just battles. But yeah, now I'm gonna... Yeah, but I, I enjoyed Rocket League. I, I don't know. I, I think it's that's just because you play in it and you're like, eh. You're like, nah, I don't, I don't feel it. But yeah, feel free to include your audio. Uh, it's gonna be like a reoccurring theme, like whenever you do get famous or something, it's just gonna be like watermelon talks. Yes, the watermelon. It's gonna be like every video, it's that secret, like, <laughs> can you spot where we talked about the watermelon? Right here, in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, zero right, comma zero. right, right in the beginning. <laughs> you ball. Oh, dang, yeah, Rock League is intense though. For a end when you actually start playing. But it's such a relaxing game to play. Like, it's just like one of those games that you can play all day, like any time of the day. You don't really get tired of it. It depends on the person. Some people might be like, nah, I can't do Rocket League all day. Rocket League well, is not my on jam. The oh. gets to. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. The heart of it is literally just car soccer, you know? Yeah, car soccer is fun. Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Oh no! I managed to get to the, the place I was trying to go to, but I ended up falling down. It was so bad. It's a big oof. Do you have to like restart everything, or do you have a save point? Well, no, it's... In Spyro, it's like, uh... It's semi-open world. I say it's semi-open world, because every level is just this, like, big... area that you can <laughs> explore and run around. Got you, got you. But it's not like like Skyrim open worlds where you can like go everywhere. But it is pretty open. Mm -hmm. All I can say is Spyro is still like one of my like it's it, it's up there in like my probably my number one if not like number two game of all time i i just that's how like much i love spyro i kind of like that with halo i don't know yeah it just has like a special place and you're in charge 
in your heart. <laughs> in yeah, your it's it's like the first game I played that got I yeah, it's stuck here forever with those ugly <laughs> on my head. But yeah, it's like the game those that got me into Xbox, you know? Tough, Halo. That's what got me into tasty. Xbox. Yeah, Spyro is what Royal got me into gaming in general. Salt. Like, I started off with Spyro, yeah, then I, started I played Halo. like Crash, and then. And then it was a cop. I love God forever. Even though sometimes COD makes some like interesting like decisions. COD is still a good game. I enjoy it. Yeah. Took me a long time to get decent in it. Guy. He's he's the elder dragon hey, with the explosives. You, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known uh, You've known Ah, uh, I forget. So I found all the dragons. Now I just gotta get the rest of the gems. The one thing I always disliked in Spyro is occasionally they they would put like enemies or like collectibles in like places like near an edge and I'm like I'm gonna fall off this edge when I try and break the collectible or get it. Because <laughs> it is no easy task getting the ledge collectibles. Okay, I got 11 lives now. Okay, so... Like, what was your favorite movie as a kid? Because I know I was, like, all the way... It was Space Agent Cody Jam. Banks. Agent Cody Banks. I was all the way, like, Space Jam and, uh... What else? It was Space Jam and... Oh, no, I didn't make the jump. Space Jam and the Scooby-Doo movie where those, the bad guys were actually real monsters. It was, like, Scooby-Doo Zombie Island or something like that. That was like one of the first Scooby-Doo's that like just kind of flipped the whole Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I never remember really watching a lot of Scooby-Doo's again. Sad but true. Eh, not everyone seen the Scooby-Doo. Heck, bro, I barely watched any SpongeBob until like I got into my like preteens. Okay, I made the jump this time. That was good. Yeah, I, I, I watched a lot of Spongebob as a kid. He was very, like, dear to my heart. I, I feel bad Spongebob that the, good, the one, uh, I'm not good with names, but there was a person who worked on Spongebob who, like, passed away. And apparently they were supposed to do, like, a big like thing. Patrick McKinney or something? I don't know. Something like that. I don't, I don't remember names. I'm not... Jeff McKinney? No, that's... Nah, it's, it's, I remember it. He's the creator of, like, Spongebob stuff. 
Yeah, it was someone, and they, they had passed away, and they were going to do, like, a big thing during the Super Bowl, but, like, all the SpongeBob fans got unhappy because it, was, it wasn't, like, anything, like, as big as they thought they were going to be. They overhyped the whole thing. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. It was just, like, a small little thing. Just, like, a little, uh, little image or something. It was, like, a little tribute. Yeah, but everyone thought it was going to be, like, a bigger tribute than it turned out to be. Cliff Town. Oh, yeah, this is the one that has the little, like, kind of matador-like people who have the metal... Curtain cloak things. Yeah, in Spyro, you run into a lot of like unique enemies. Still gonna end up having the Spyro videos be some of the longer ones, like maybe 15 minutes, possibly 20 if it takes a little too long. Cause I want to get like all the stuff done and like get two levels in a video. Cause if I do one level of video, it'll take forever to finish the series. Oh, you must be going through something super intense right now, because you've like completely I'm sorry, been quiet. I'm sorry. Uh, trying to clutch this up. Yeah, you gotta get that win. Sometimes you get to. Oh, this egg thief is gonna take me forever to get. That's. They taunt you the whole time, too, while you're chasing him. I almost had him. I should be back. Ah, oh, that took way too long. <laughs> but at least I caught him. That's a How's big a mallet there. supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Yeah, I, I still don't get why flame doesn't work on metal. Because, like, it would get super hot and burn the person if it was realistic. Yeah. Oh, I gotta practice for a tournament. Or, uh, oh, you're you're gonna be in a tournament? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the team with Seth, so. Uh, okay. You might join the party, so. I don't know. Might get a little wild, that's what you're saying. A little too intense. Yeah, yeah possible. Uh, is the tournament today? That is Wednesday. We gotta perfect the sun. Yeah, you gotta get good.
Ja, ja, Four, yeah, you texted me at 4.30. I saw on Snapchat. Hey, what's on the other side uh, of that room? I go to bed at like 2 in the morning. That's out. crazy. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. That's healthy, 2 in the morning. Oh, well, it's better than 3, you know? I, I guess it's but better it's than 3. routine is like uh I get off of Xbox, I hop on Hulu, I watch multiple anime, and that, then I get off of Hulu, I check Netflix, see if anything's on there, and then I go on YouTube and then post. That's a good routine. Nothing new is on Netflix for you boys. So. Uh he died. What what episode are you in? Okay, I think I've got almost all the dragons now. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Bless you. I find it good. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Catch you on the flip side.